Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 51. Now I know I said that I wasn't going to do any more autograph videos in 2011 but a request has come in from Mr Richardson who is a science teacher and I couldn't resist it so I thought I'd just bang out one more video before the turn of the new year. So the question Mr Richardson asked is how is it possible on autograph to fit data to functions or find functions that will model sets of data. Now we've looked at this in the past with uh, fitting lines of best fit and regression lines and the technique for fitting different functions is very similar. So let's start with just making sure we're happy fitting um, lines of best fit and regression lines to data. So what I've got here, I've cracked open autograph in advanced mode and I'm just on your standard 2D graph page and I've got myself a nice bit of data here. This is belly button data. This is from the um, TSM resources website. So I've got a load of people's heights and their um, distance from their feet to their belly button and this turns out to be a, a study of the golden ratio but I can use it very nicely to illustrate correlation. So I've selected A and B and I'll just right click and I'll copy both of those columns and I'll go to my autograph and I will go to there, enter XY data set. Um, I'll right click there and I will paste. I'm going to have um, my X and Y things as my axes labels, height and belly button, that's good. And I'd like autograph to do an auto scale click OK. Um, Autograph hasn't done too bad a job there but I'm probably just going to change these axes a little bit so I think height I'm going to go from 120 and belly button from about one uh, from about 40 I think so we'll just change those and see what that looks like. Yeah that's not too bad at all. Uh, now if I click anywhere it deselects everything. If I click just one of those dots they're grouped as a data set and um, so they'll all be selected and now if I do a little right click then on this list I get best fit and I get your X and Y and your Y and X regression line. It depends what you're after. Best fit will do for me here. So I click it and Autograph um, asks me what order do I want. Well I just want linear please. So I'm going to drop that down to number one. Click OK and there's my line of best fit. And if I want to know what the equation of that is, probably the easiest way is just to select that line there so it turns black. Click on text box. I always like to go for a nice little ice blue. Click OK and there's my equation. Now that's all well and good for data that fits um, a linear model but often data doesn't so what do we do with that well let me crack open a brand new 2d graph page I'm just going to use my drag to just drag my axes down there a little bit now imagine we had some data like this I'm just going to go into point mode and just scatter some on now it's obvious with data like that that it's linear model is going to be no good for us so I wonder what we do there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag round all of those points so they're all selected I'm going to right click and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to convert them into a data set so that is my fixed data set now if I want to actually see some of those uh, data values if I just double click there then there's all my data values so they're all selected or watercraft on a little uh, auto scale for me there that's okay and um, if I right click now and I go to best fit what I actually want there is I think that's probably a nice quadratic uh, model there so let's give give autograph a chance to do it order two, click OK and there you go and likewise if I want to know what that is select it bit of that bit of ice blue and there we go but in science and this is what mr. Richardson was getting at often you get models that and um, polynomials are uh, aren't relevant to. You get um, things with uh, decay and half-lifes and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look what we do there. So 2D graph page, drag my uh, axes down there and imagine I had some data that looked like that. Okay, what would I do here? Well, first things first, um, let's just get it all grouped together. So drag round, right click and I will go to where convert to data set perfect and what I'm going to do with autograph is I'm going to I'm going to have a go at telling autograph the model I want so I want something like y equals a e all to the power of and I'm going to crack a bracket open and let's go something like minus b to the x and I'll chuck a little plus c on at the end as well so I'm giving autograph the kind of model I like let's click ok that's nowhere near autograph but wait a minute if I click on my data set and I also select my line, so both are selected. If I right click now, then I get this lovely little option here, best fit to data. And if I click that, Autograph will do a brilliant job of fitting it to date, the data. If I click text box, let's have a little look what my values are. And there goes my function. And you can do that with anything, sine, tan, cos, whatever you want. So I hope that was useful to Mr. Richardson and any other scientists out there. And I will definitely not be doing another video until 2012. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.